So we did this git embed URL and we, you know, marked it as safe. So basically we're saying, hey, this is a trusted resource, feel free to use it. So what we wanna do is make this reusable. That is in our template, I wanna be able to use something called a pipe to actually reuse this method um, of doing things. So I don't have it only on one component, but I can use it on any component. And of course this resource right here, this is useful for all sorts of HTML, um, but it's also very, very useful when you are wanting to embed something from a different site. And in this case, it's YouTube, but of course it could be Vimeo or something like that. So to introduce pipes to you, what I wanna do is create a date pipe for you. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna say private, or actually I'll leave it out of private because we haven't talked about it yet. So I'll just say date equals to uh, just a, its own variable. So on ng init, I'll say this dot date equals to new date. Okay, so we've got our new date here. Um, and that means that in our component, I can actually put the date here. Okay, so we might wanna change this variable for a good reason, and I'll say that in a second. So I'll just say today date, and that's what we'll call it. So back into my component, I've got today date or today's date, and this should actually render. So if we look back into our uh, project, we see this, right? So there's a little bit of formatting that we might wanna do with this, um, such as, uh, just changing it to like a better format for today, right? So that's not something that I wanna see. Instead, what I'll do is date, and notice the pipe there, and mm, capital M, lowercase d, yy, just like that, and we save it, refresh, and there we go. So we now have our date being slightly different, right? So this is example of a pipe. So you can also use something called like full date and there's 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 a few other ones that you can you can go through with um, the date filter right okay so since I've got that I see that this is a pipe that's built in so for more built-in pipes definitely check out I'm gonna put it right next to our date here check out that I'm gonna delete some of the other content but that's where you can see some more stuff about pipes. Pretty cool, um, but what we wanna do is our own custom pipe because of this, right? So let's go ahead and create a new folder called utility. And inside of utility, we're gonna make this pipe. Now, we can do, if I'm in my app, I can also do ngg um, pipe, and I'm gonna call this safe. So it just created something called safe. It created a pipe called safe, but it put it in the root of my actual app project and that's not where I want it to be. Oops, let's go ahead. I'm gonna bring it back in. Let's try that one more time and create that pipe. There it is. My app module has the safe pipe in there, right? It's actually there, which is really cool. Uh, but what I wanna do is actually move this. So I'm gonna cut this out Rather, I'll just copy it and move it. So reveal and finder, let's bring that over. And I'm gonna bring these into my utility. So the utility folder, and then in my module, I'll do from dot utility. Import safe pipe, and there we go. So we've got our pipe there. And this is giving us kind of our like built in transformation. So we already have a name for it. We already have um, the, just generally what actually has to happen inside of this pipe. So this is the portion that we really need to do is this transform. So if I go back into my git embed URL, this is the part that I want to do is that DOM serializer. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in. In fact, I'm gonna cut it out of that one, paste it in here. And since I've got this, I actually have to add in the constructor here because I have to bring in the DOM serializer to that constructor. So I'm gonna cut it out of my other video list, bring it into that pipe. And inside of that transform function, that's where we're probably gonna be doing this. And we're gonna take in just the value, which is this right here. Okay, so back into our video list component. Um, there we go. So now it's getting git embed URL. So this time it's just going to return a string back to us. It's not 
actually returning a safe string, it's just returning a string. So back into the safe pipe, this is done. You can add in some other arguments, but I'm not really gonna cover that. Instead, this is a pipe. We've now created our own pipe. So back into the video-list.component, we can add that pipe in right here because this is giving me something and then I can use a pipe just like that. So as the terminal goes, let's go ahead and do ng serve and let's jump back into our component. It's probably gonna take a second. Okay, it's done. We refresh in here and we get an error, right? So cannot match any routes, URL segment null. So what's the error happening exactly? Well, I already know what's happening and that is this get embed URL safe and all that. And here we have to say if value, then we will return that. So I'm positive that the value could be null with what we are sending. So I just wanna make sure that there is actually a value. And if there is one, then it's gonna return it. And notice, there we go. So something you might have also been wondering is like, wait, I have it here. Why is it still running? Now, this is where Angular works really well and allows you to do all sorts of checks. And it's basically ensuring that even if you pass something in there, it, it still might run some issues. Now, let's go ahead and instead of having that embed ng if on the div, let's go ahead and keep that safe there. I'm gonna put it actually on the iframe itself, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is in that safe pipe, I'm going to ignore that if value, or we'll just add this same thing there because this will be blank even if there's not a value. I'm gonna let it compile again and refresh in here. And I don't have the same error. Now, the reason I don't have the same error has to do with where I actually put this if statement. If I put the if statement here, then it's possible that this will still be called. So I save that and I bring it back. I don't see any errors this time. So it's, it's likely that the component, the safe pipe might not even need this. And it was just a matter of compiling, but every once in a while, you'll run into little errors like that. Um, again, I'm reloading it to make sure that this is actually what's happening. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a local host. And yes, that is still working. So everything is all good when it comes to that. So this transform, there's two different ways on how you could approach it and make sure that there is a value. So let's actually send it without an actual value to um, go safe. So uh, I'm just gonna say enter HTML like this and I'll just say empty value and say safe, save that, come back, empty value, still doing that same thing. So it came in here. What I wanna do then is going back into that pipe and still keep this being the case. So it does actually cover that empty value. And once it does, it, it, get, it doesn't like have any sort of errors. So that is just trial and error, just kind of knowing generally what things may happen and may go wrong. Um, but basically this method right here requires a value to be passed to it. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that the value that is passed to it is a valid one, but it is important to see that if it's empty, it will run that error and kind of break everything. So the if statement um, shouldn't always call this right here, but if it's on the actual item itself, it's likely to not be called. But like I said, I just saw that error happen because it was on here versus on the actual iframe. So it's something worth checking while you're doing things. All right, so that is it for a custom pipe. If you have any questions on what we did here, please let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.